As he neared Damascus on his journey, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice say unto him, Maman, Maman, why do you persecute me? Who are you, Lord? Maman asked. I am married, whom you are persecuting, he replied. Now get up and go into the city and you'll be told what you must do. His followers led him into the city. Where is Ananias of Abuja? Ananias, I beg, go and do your job. Visit my Mandaura and lay your hands on his head and watch as scales fall off his eyes. Welcome to Urgent Care, where we treat matters too urgent to wait for tomorrow. I am Dr. Damages. So, Mamandara, the number one nephew of President Muhammadu Buhari, has gone through a conversion. Yep, his conversion is not human in origin. He did not consult any human, not even his beloved uncle. He just said it. He is up for merit instead of mediocrity. He is for the most competent and the most qualified to get the job of president instead of mere rotational presidency. Mamandara is up to something. It is something good if you pause a little bit to think about it. Who could have thought that such a wonderful idea of merit over mediocrity could come from Mamandara? But why not? He had watched his uncle's performance as president for the last five years. Mamandara has no doubt that nobody would describe his uncle as the best president Nigeria ever had. But just five years ago, if his uncle had died without being president, a great number of Nigerians would have described him as the best president Nigeria never had. So Momandara knows what he's talking about when he said that Nigerians should embrace merit and denounce mediocrity. He has seen it all. Trust me. God works in mysterious ways. Now, for those of you who do not know this, Mamandara is over 80 years of age. Last year, his family and friends flew every important person in his life to London to mark the occasion. If you were Mamandara's age and you have such a wonderful family that could afford such an expensive celebration at an impressive hotel in London, what else do you want in life? Why won't you say the ultimate truth at his age? The truth is that Nigeria will never get anywhere if merit does not dethrone mediocrity. When things used to work in Nigeria was when merit was valued in the country. There are countries like Singapore and Malaysia and Vietnam that were at Nigeria's developmental level in the 1960s have overtaken us and gone as far from us that we cannot even see their bright light. It's because they embraced merit instead of mediocrity. Here is a good example of how mediocrity over the years fails a people. At least in the last 30 years, the Unity School System in Nigeria, otherwise called the Federal Government Colleges, has used a non-merit-based admission system to get pupils into the schools. What has happened? After 30 years, a male student from states like Yobe, Zamfara, and Sokoto still need a score of 2, 4, and 9 respectively out of 300 to get into the schools while their counterparts from states like Anambra, Delta, Ogun, for example, need a score of 139, 131, and 131 respectively to get in. Essentially, 
nothing has changed for those students from Yobe, Sokoto, and Zamfara in the last 30 years of trying mediocrity. That should be enough to declare it a failure. If we had tried merit in those 30 years, what would have happened is that students from Yobe State, Zamfara, and Sokoto would have been compelled to study harder. Their desire to attend the federal government college will have made them strive more and score higher. Why merit motivates, mediocrity only massages bruised ego. More importantly, desiring merit is a prerequisite for desiring justice, and desiring justice is a prerequisite for accepting restructuring. So if Mamandara has seen the light, let us welcome him, the way early Christians welcomed Saul when he saw the light. Let us help him to get converted and baptized and become poor. Let us show him what he must do, especially now that his uncle is president. Let him start by working with his uncle to abolish the quota system, catchment area, disadvantaged states, and federal character. Let him make sure that moving forward, promotions in the civil service, police, military, are purely based on merit. Let him begin to give merit-based tests to all the leadership of government agencies. Once he kicks that off, we all will come around to understand the merit that we're talking about and to value it. And that way, we will come to cherish merit again and follow him to the ultimate quest, uniting to choose a president based on merit the one that is most qualified and the most competent and not whether he is from the south or from the north or whether he's a woman or a man. Kajiko, who is with me? Africa, who did this to us? Who did this to us? Hi, if you live in the US, UK, Canada, Italy, Ireland or Spain, and you send money to Nigeria, to Ghana, to Kenya, to Tanzania, or Uganda, you should download SendWave on your phone. SendWave is safe, secure, reliable, fast, and more importantly, it is fee-free. Absolutely no fees. For your first transaction, use the promo code DOCTOR and SendWave will add $5 or 5 euros or 5 pounds to the money you send. Dash! Just because you know Dr. Daniels. What are you waiting for? Here is how to do it.